Good morning, guys. Yes, it's early morning about 7.38. That's not early. I've I've been on here much earlier before. You guys know this about me. It depends on the day and what I'm up to. I'm trying to see where I need to have my book here so I don't, excuse me, I just bumped my camera. All right. So, <clears throat> I'm really trying to knock out the pages on this. And so, we may have a few videos where we pop through this. And uh, actually, probably this video and maybe one, two at the most. So, a total of three at the most. But I really think we're going to be able to do it at, with two. So, and then after my surgery, we'll start decorating it. Okay, which won't be that long. Okay, so we're going to go right here to this next page. I don't even know what's in here, but let me look. Oh, yeah, I love this page. I love the writing on it. This is just a simple, whoops, I just pulled something out of the next page. Let me get that back in there. <laughs> Goodness. Okay. Now, uh, we're going to go here. This is going to be super simple. We're just going to add around the outside of, um, let me see. Um, do I want to just add around three sides or four? I kind of like it like this. So let's put this one down last. And we're going to put this trim around the outside. Now, I know a lot of this feels like the same thing. It's because it looks a lot alike. But, oh, these, I already cut these to the right size, it looks like. Um, but, I, uh, I'm going to put this right here. I'm staying with that color scheme and some of the same prints, and that kind of can make things look like they're repetitive, but they're not. Now, this is going to end up being a way better constructed um, altered journal than the one we did before because frankly I wasn't even sure what I was doing at that time because um because I uh trying to get this stuck down while we're talking here because I had never done one before and you know you learn as you go but I learned a lot by us doing that journal and it turned out beautiful it just had a little too many pages, but I tell you, every page turned out so beautiful that I, I don't regret it at all. And let me tell you, it, it was so much fun to do. I don't know if you guys remember that or not. I'm sure you do to some degree. And I'm trying to get this big clump rubbed in. So, what have you been up to? I know most of you'd be like me and say the same old thing. I'll tell you something funny, though. Well, it's funny now. It wasn't funny at the time. So, I'm preparing everything for my surgery, like my medications and stuff. And I had a bottle of Singular for my allergies. And I was, I popped the lid off, but it was kind of hard getting off. And Sadie's just standing there on the floor looking at me, wondering what I was doing in the dining room. You know, she's wanting to make sure it wasn't food related. But anyway, I popped that lid off and Rick wasn't home. And that bottle went everywhere. It was a brand new bottle, three months supply of bot, uh, you know, in the bottle. It went everywhere. Well, I instantly had the dog on my mind. I started, I started hollering, no, Sadie, no, 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 Sadie, no. When I looked down there, when I get up and get down, get over where she was, because I wanted to grab her and put her in her crate while I cleaned it up, she was standing there looking at me like, what crazy woman? What are you talking about? Listen, it was funny. So, after it was all over, it wasn't funny when I was having to pick up all those, um, when I was picking up all the, 
the um, pills. That was not funny when you've had, you know, back surgery twice. And listen, I was so worried about my back, but I had to pick them up. I mean, you know, that's just how, how it goes. You have to pick them up. So anyway, I'll fold this back on itself and do it right here. I'm not sure if this is going to be quite long enough. We'll see. We'll just try it and see. If not, we'll add another piece. Now, these are pretty simple to put together, these books. If you start with four pages at the beginning, then um, tear out two. Do you remember the rest? Tear out two, leave... leave uh, I think it's two and four, two and four. Let's see. No, two. Okay. You turn two pages at the beginning. Then you keep two pages. Okay. Then after that, you um, take out six, two, six. Take out six, keep two. Take out six, keep two. And you just repeat that till the end. And... um I think it's come out perfect. You, sh you know, 20, 25 pages, 30 mo maybe, um, depending on the book size. I would start off with at least a 300 page book. Okay, here we go. And I wanna do one, uh, one of these books at Christmas of the nativity and angels like Gail did. I just love that. And, uh, I might make one for myself at some point and then make one to sell so that everybody has the opportunity to have one. It turned out so beautiful. I think it'd be great to put scripture of Christmas, um, Christmas and Jesus' birth. And I just, I think it's really pretty. So, it really made me want to do another one. That's why I did this one. I was like, oh, I want to do, I want to do another one. No, uh, actually, it wasn't Gail that made me want to do one. It was Crafty Cat. She did one, and I really liked it. And I followed her instructions for this one and actually got it right because of that. So, she, um, she knew what she's talking about. Okay, so I know I'm pushed back pretty far there, but I'm trying to make sure I get those on right. Okay, so now we go back to the upright position here. Make sure everything is stuck down. And you know what I forgot to put on here? Forgot to put my glitter glue. Oh my. Of course it is early in the morning. I can use that as an excuse. How's that? I'll make sure I do remember it on this page. <laughs> okay, so this should all be covered nicely. I've got this crit, uh, this creased really nicely, this big page. And so we're going to do like we have in all of them, just get in the seam and then pull each side back. This would be a great page to decorate. And so... Yeah, that's probably what we will do. Now, I'm just going to run the glue all the way around. And a big clump right there, you would know. I'm gonna kind of lean over this way. So, I need my, let me get my book weight. That might help, huh? Okay might help me just a little bit. Okay, so I'm doing the whole outs, out, or outside part of this page and keeping the glue on the, on the right side. Okay, now, now we're gonna add the glitter glue. And I will tell you, I'm finally getting down, you know, last time we were doing, well, that was crooked. Last time we were doing this, uh, I was getting low, but I've done a couple things since this, and 
It's really low. I'm sorry, I don't have a whole lot to say. Are you guys the same way? I, I feel like because we've been cooped up that um, you just don't have, you know, there's not much to say. Oh, you know, I've been working on digitals, getting digitals copied and things ready for me to work on fussy cutting because I'm getting low on some things. So I thought it'd be a good time for me to fussy cut. We'll see. Last time I had surgery, you know, it was pretty rough. But this time, I know what to expect. And hopefully, that will make a difference. Now, there we go. That looks nice. I didn't push this down as far as I could have. But it's pretty, pretty snappy on here. Okay, so we're going to flip this over and pretty much do the same thing. I'm going to put some here on the... Actually, I think I'll just do this side this time. And then I'll go around the edges of this paper right here. Now I'm going to get my It amazes me how much glue is in this one bottle. You know, I remember when I bought my first bottle of glitter glue, and I thought like everybody, why do I need glue for glitter? You know, I assume that's what it was for, was to do glitter. And it does have a lot of the uh, Elmer glue look to it, but it's not anything like. It's fast grow, it's fast, um, Fast to glue. I mean, it glues quickly and fast. I just get that down there. I guess I need to pull that up a little bit. Didn't get that perfectly straight. Yeah, I'm gonna have some wrinkles on this side. I kind of went down at a cockeyed level and as you can see, I'm going to pull it back up because, because I can, first of all, but because it went up instead of down like I wanted it to. So I'm going to add a little bit more glue to the corners and the areas, you know, that I want to stay down nicely. Try this one more time. Now, this time I'm going to make sure I got my, my, uh, ruler in place and I'm going to start by pulling down down to the left first then work my way up work my way up a little better yeah I didn't get my crease as great as I would have liked right there If you ever need to just straighten it, I recommend you pull the page pre previous to this one and just, you know, that way, see, but you can see right there, right here where this is sticking up. I'm not crazy about that, but I'm gonna put some glue down in there. Maybe that will help. <laughs> Let's see by bending it here. It's not like the paper's gonna stretch, right? I guess it depends on the type of paper. But there's no way it's going to go down perfect. But that's okay. There's a few of them like that. Not all things go down nice and neat. So we're moving on to the next page. Okay. And these are going to look real similar because we're getting toward the end. This is um, going to be a journaling page right here and it has a pocket right here which let's add it first 
It's got, this is the pocket. So we're gonna add this first. Get the glue book over here. Toss that, cause I've got glue on both sides of that. And then start gluing. Now I'm gonna move it up a little bit. Okay, now let's add a little bit of glitter glue. I did, so I spilt all those peels. I, let me go back to that story. Spilt all the pills, and my husband's at the grocery store, so I went about to call him. So I grabbed some kind of pick me up type thing um, out of the kitchen. <laughs> it wouldn't pick them up, so I had to had to use my back, and I wasn't happy about that. But boy, how do you? I was miserable that evening, but I survived. <laughs> back to normal this morning. So I'm not gonna tuck under this pocket. I'm just gonna get snug right up beside it because I just decided that's how I wanna do it. I want it to kinda just, just want to pull the page up right there. So I'm just gonna go straight down. Now I have a little bit of an edge right here, which is not a big deal, but it would be to some people, right? So we're going to get a little piece of this lace if I have any left. Voila, we do, is it the right size? It's the exact right size. So, I want it to be covered well, so. Come on, little piece. Now it wants to attach itself to the book, but we're not gonna let it. Okay, here we go. And I forgot to put the glitter glue, but that'll be fine. It's just a tiny little piece here, which I actually matched up without even thinking about it until I laid it down. Way to go, Paula. Let me trim that off. It's a little bit long. Yeah, I think everything else is. Sorry guys, I'm knocking glue and everything else over. Okay, so we've got our pocket on there. And this is going to be, hmm, I think I'm gonna put the, this, the uh, paper at the top this time. And here at the bottom, I'll just put some more of this lace paper. And yeah, I'm just trying to see how big this is. Oh, well, it's two pages for some reason. Okay, here we go. So it's gonna go right here. And I, I put it in the crease because if you, uh, if you, I like to do the crease and the fold together because it actually will fit down into the crease. That's the reason I do it. I want the pages to look real crisp like this. See how this went down? I want it to look real natural. And that's the reason sometimes I have to put trim around the edges. And plus the book is bigger than the pages. So I've had some people um, say, you know, maybe um, to do it differently, but I, I really am doing it that way for a reason. Okay, so we'll trim off that part after the fact. Okay, so let's just use this as a glue glue page right here on this side. And I'm not gonna glue all the way out because I know I'm gonna have to cut some of this off. Okay, now I'll add some uh,
some glitter glue. May have to open up my new one after this video. Okay, there's that. And let's just go on out as far as we can with some glitter glue. That way we know um, it's going to attach nicely. So let's start right here. As I said before, make sure you get this all the way up to the edge of the pocket. You can have a little tiny bit of a gap right there. And that is totally fine with me. Okay, so I'm gonna put this down here so I can get it down in the crease nicely and then run this paper all the way over the best I can. There. So that should glue okay. So we're going to trim this. Let's see if we got it far enough. Well, we almost did. Let's go ahead and, I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. Let's go ahead and glue straight across here so we know it sticks down with the glitter glue. All right. Well, and actually, the creases on these this book is getting harder and harder to get down into because it's everything's folding and stacking on itself. And that's how it's supposed to do, so I'm not gonna worry about it. I'll get it as good as I can right there. Getting down in that crease. There, that looks better. Now let's trim this portion off, which I can't believe I got so close to being correct. <laughs> you just never know. Okay, and I was looking to see if I, because I had forgot to trim on the last page. So I was making sure that it was it was on there and it was on perfect so we don't have to worry about that one all right so now i do have to trim a tiny bit right here on this edge just a little so it doesn't look like it's pinching out there okay so now we're going to do the journaling page right here this book will get a lot more fun when we do the the actual um, designing, decorating, not designing, decorating. <laughs> it's early this morning, guys. Okay. So the guy called to schedule our furniture delivery today. It won't be till after three sometime, between three and nine. But at least it'll be here when Rick is gonna have time to work on it, right? Okay, so now I'm gonna add around this book edge. I'm gonna go ahead and put the Fabri-Tac here. And that way, we know it's gonna fit nicely. And we'll put it on here. Okay, here we go. So we want it to go down in here all the way up to the edge. I'm gonna turn this sideways to make sure it's all the way up to the top here. It is perfect. Uh, let's lift this up. And it looks like that's going in there perfect this time. I don't think 
and them are gonna be super deep into the spine unless we get to some bigger spines. These are kind of folding over on themselves. And that's okay, that's what you would expect in the situation. So, out of the blue, probably about two months now, I've been craving orange juice. And I don't want to because it's fattening, you know? But I can hardly, If I don't have it in the house, and I can just grab a little glass. The problem is, is one glass doesn't satisfy me. I guess, I'm a, maybe I'm lacking B12 in my body. I don't know. Not B12, vitamin C. I'm always lacking B12. <laughs> I have to take it on a daily basis. I don't know why, but I just, uh, I have trouble with low iron and low B12, but also I have trouble with folic acid. And um, so it's kind of an on, on and off thing all the time with me with as far as that goes. Okay, so we do have everything on here nicely let's bend this forward that way we know this is getting down the spine the best it can there we go moving on to the next page we're knocking these out. Let's see what, I kind of just cut some s scraps and stuff so we'd have what we needed. Now this is probably, an, I started to say probably not a journaling um, pocket. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do is put this in the pocket. Now, let's get here and pull this out. And I just put this paper down into the corner. I took a corner of a paper. See the lines you can see. I just duck it down in here and fiddled with it until it started evening out with the outside. Just like that. And that's all there is to it. I am going to trim this off because it bugs me. Plus I don't want it to show on the outside. There we go. Okay, so we're off to get this done next. I'm gonna put some glue stick on here. I'm gonna try real hard, I can't promise, uh, to do one more video after this one until I can get up on my feet and get around better and sit in this chair long enough to do a video. <laughs> That's not always that easy, you know? But I can tell you the chair in the living room is not any better for my back, uh, for my hips. I sound all morning sounding this morning. I'm sorry if I do sound grumpy. Cause I'm not, I feel perfectly fine. Okay, so now we're going to put this in first. Try to find a spot to hold it without getting a whole lot of glue on me. Okay, now was it this way? I think it was. That's funny. I just did it and I can't even remember already. Okay, here we go. It goes down in here. Getting it down in there before. And then I'm going to line it up here. Pull it over, and it should fit without any problems. I might have to trim some edges or something. 
Listen, I just do it however the mood strikes me each time. You guys that way sometimes with, with things like this. Oh, I'm going to turn that. It fits, so let's use it that way. <laughs> I don't I don't realize, I don't um, care or realize why, that I'm doing it different each time. But to me, it just makes it less stressful just to play with it and do it how, how it feels right to you. Okay. Make sure we don't have any glue down in our pocket. Now I'm going to turn it around. And I'll probably put a couple little pieces right there because we want it to look nice. Let's see what we got. We'll see what happens here. I'm just going to put glue from glitter glue on this little corner piece and make it work. I'm just going to make it go up as even as it can right there. You can't, you won't even really be able to tell that I pieced it there unless you're just really working hard to see it. It'd be a, where, a where's Waldo kind of moment. Oh, you know what? Yesterday, I do have something fun and sweet to tell you. I'm standing there. My husband and I are talking about some things we need to do to, you know, um, make sure everything's done around the house. And um, my daughter's coming to get Sadie today, and Charlie's so excited. Um, anyway, so I... Uh, we were standing there, and I said, oh, oh, and my husband's, like, thinking I'm hurting somewhere. I said, oh, my goodness, oh, look, and he just, like, really, Paula? Um, but there was a mama duck and her babies, and they were so cute. She had 10 tiny babies in my backyard. They were almost all the way to the charcoal grill, which is on our patio, and, and there was the mama, and you guys, they were teeny, teeny, tiny, like brand new. They, they just, they just were born. You could tell because they're so tiny. You know, their hair was all wild. I'm sure it's been a week, but um, I'm trying to decide if I want to go this way. I think I'm going to go this way. That way I don't have to have it be so... And I'm just going to cut it up that way. And then I'm going to cut a piece here and then I'll trim it off after it's glued. You'll see what I mean. But anyway, they were so adorable. So by the time my husband got up there, he had missed them, but they came back in a little bit and he was able to see them. This is that time of year in our in our backyard where things start growing and, you know, more ducks and things come to our pond and it's just adorable. They're, they were so cute. And I mean, we have them every year. We have mamas give birth to baby ducks every year. The most I have seen born to one duck since we've lived here is 12. And this one had 10 and it was so cute. It's so cute how they naturally just follow their mama. You know, every now and then you'll see a little straggler out there. <laughs> but they're precious. And this is also the year, I don't know if you guys are familiar with barn, barn, B-A-R-N, sparrows. The messiest bird I think God put on earth. <laughs> and they like to live. They came one year under my front porch, and I let them live. I didn't know what they were. I wasn't going to kill their baby nest. Well, I find out later they had that, uh, that their babies, the first batch, <laughs> do it like, a, like cookies. They had their first um, litter. I don't know what they call them. I'm not a bird person, but... Um, 
they had it right uh, after they built their nest. I mean, it doesn't take that long for them to have a, a new batch come along. And um, so they had that first batch and I thought, oh boy. The thing is, is they make their nest out of mud, okay? And then it's concrete. I mean, it's like concrete when they're through with, with their nest. And I'm trying to decide if I want to go ahead and fold that down. I think I will. I don't know if it'll fit all the way. That's the problem. It won't. So I'm going to cut it at a slant. Anyway, so when, when they had their babies, they just start all over and have more babies. And they do it all summer long. And they're very aggressive. Like if we want to, they did it above my uh, front door. And so they, and they poop everywhere. It was constantly cleaning up bird poop. No one could come to our front door. We were having people go through the garage door because they're nasty. Nasty little birds. Okay, this isn't perfectly straight. I'm going to have to. This is going to take the extra glue after I get through with it, so I want to make sure I get glue on here. Okay, it is so warm in our house this morning. Oh, man. I'll turn the fan on. I'm sorry. I'm having an old lady heat attack. Okay. Oh, maybe I did get that cut pretty close. I did, so it's not going to be off by too much, but I am going to trim it before I glue it down here. Just a little bit right there. I'll cover that. We'll be good. <clears throat> but anyway, we couldn't get rid of them that first year. I mean, we did everything. We called the bird store. We did everything you can imagine to try to get rid of these birds and like in between litters <laughs> or whatever they are anyway um and the and the funny thing is is they're not a pretty bird they're just a barn bird you know just like a left band, you know a little bird that nobody ever wanted kind of thing because they're not pretty they were not they were right there with the ugly duckling the ugly duckling Anyway, <clears throat> let's see what, how close we are on this. So the second year, we were told by somebody after we kept complaining to friends and family about these birds. The first year, um, we had, let me move this all the way up to right there. I don't think it's going to, I'm just going to take it down to the bottom. Maybe, let me think. I'm thinking how I want to do this. I can go all the way up here. I think that's what I'll do. And then we'll have to put a crease across the bottom, or some paper across the back. Anyway, um, so I was told once you have them, you have them forever. Well, of course, I'm freaking out because I'm like, I don't want those nasty birds in my doorway every year. Not every, you know, you want your spring and summer to just be exciting and beautiful around your house. Yeah, and those birds were not going to let that happen. So, um, anyway, so my husband and I, we decided that we were going to do... They, they, this is what they, how they wanted to nest. Let me, let me explain this to you and you'll see why it was a problem. We have our security cameras, uh, in the corner facing, that face the door. So if someone comes up to the door uninvited or does anything, uh, questionable on our porch, they will get recorded and we can turn it over to the police or whatever. Someone steals a package or, you know, or, and then you can be in the house and if you don't want to answer the door, you just look and see who's on there 
or on the porch if it's a salesman or, you know, they don't allow salesmen in here, but some get through every now and then. And, um, and I don't mind children, but um, anyway, perfect. That's gonna fit perfect. So every time they started building the nest on the second year, my husband would hose it off. And I know that sounds horrible because you know, it's just part of their natural, but you know what? Part of my natural is not to have them on my porch. And that's all they wanted to do was build on my porch. So then they built right under the garage door. <laughs> Oh, and I told my husband, I said, they're going to kill us before the summer's over. So we just kept knocking it down wherever it happened. And then we finally thought we got rid of them after, like, destroying several nests. Well, come to find out, they were on the side of the house, in, in or right under the gutters. And we had no idea they were there at the time. It was so aggravating. It was a... I'll just put it this way. It was not a fun summer with those things. But they kept coming back and they tried to build in the same place on our patio. And um, because our patio looks like the same setup, it's in the corner. The camera's in the corner. And, uh, and they like it. <laughs> they like building around the camera. Because my husband, what he ended up doing was he boxed, he boxed in, let me see where I started. He boxed in the, um, the cameras so they wouldn't ruin the cameras. And he just left it where the lens was sticking out. And so then when they couldn't build on top of the lens anymore or the camera, they started going up inside the stinking box. They could squeeze into a tiny hole. I kid you not, you guys. It was teensy tiny. And they were squeezing up inside there, inside that box, to build a nest. So then he had to, then I said, how about you stuff it full of, you know, I don't know, some kind of unattractive thing to build a nest. So my husband put some kind of a steel wool type uh, the thing that you put around your pipes in your house if you don't want mice when you live next to a field. That's what we had to do one year. But <clears throat> anyway, it was quite a year. And so we were sitting at the dining room table eating breakfast the other morning. And here come some birds. They're sitting on the, the at top of the gutters right next to our dining room table there. And we could see them, and I said, they are making plans to build their nest. <laughs> and they'll come back to the front and get this. I'm sure a lot of you've had them. But they'll come out, and they will do this, you know. They don't want you near it. And so they'll kind of fly at you, and they'll tell you off. And they, two of them will come around, and they'll fly in circles, and... Uh, you better be ready to move when that happens. They're, I don't want to say mean, but they're such a nuisance. A big nuisance. Okay, so I think all but this little stripe, which I'm going to put something under there real quick, is going to be perfect. So we're just going to put it right here. And add a little bit of glitter glue right here to the outside. It's getting really low. It's all, It feels completely empty. But there's still a little bit coming out, so I'm just going to let it happen. Okay. So every year I just, and then I have sandpipers in my yard that has babies in our front yard. 
I don't know why they think that we're so exciting, but um, they do. So I'm gonna try to get this down into this little crack here in the spine. And then I can trim off any excess of the paper as it dries. Okay. So last year, and then one year, they don't like to they don't like to have their babies out in the open, open like in a tree. You know, they want it. They want like luxury. That's what I think they're doing. They want luxury. <laughs> I didn't put enough glue right there, so we'll get that glued down. I might have to pull out my other. I can still feel a little bit of the glitter glue down in there, but. <laughs> Okay. Okay, I think we're ready to go now. If I can get my fan to go off. It's like all of a sudden it's cold. It's so weird. It goes from one extreme to the other. Um, it's blowing air. So it's telling me, listen, lady, you're going to regret it if you don't get rid of me and get another bottle. Okay, I've thought that several times in the last month, but I've just been hanging on. It's going to have to prove it to me before I get rid of it. It's going to have to prove that it doesn't work. <clears throat> anyway, so, you know, it's going to be kind of a dreaded summer because... At least for us old people who can't get out and get the virus, <laughs> you know, have to be we have to be careful. So I'm going to put some glue right here. Maybe. Nope, it's done, you guys. And here is a nice new clean bottle, all ready to go. And that one, mm, I'm going to wash the. Uh, Okay, this is not gonna come out. Oh, great. It's because it's new. And maybe my husband, I had him put this on because I couldn't get it to stay on. But it's had the needle in it. I don't know why it won't start spitting glue out. I wonder if it has a seal. Voila, there it is. My husband probably didn't even think about it, you know. This stuff is like water. So thin, but it's powerful. <laughs> okay. Shouldn't have any more problems with our glue. Whoa, see how that come out? Like a fountain. Gotta kind of push it down a little bit here. Spread it out so I don't have it seeping out all over the place. Okay. And since this folds under, I decided to just go ahead and fold it under. And then put my glue, my glue stick on something else. If I didn't make a mess with all this glue just now, it kind of went everywhere. I hope it doesn't stick my page together. You know what that's like, right? So I'm gonna put something down in there in just a second to make sure. See, it's already wanting to adhere. I hadn't even got it all the way down in there. This is the part of these books that is, you know, not the easiest in the world. Let me get my piece of plastic. I, keep, I always keep a piece of dirty, yucky, ugly plastic around. And after I get this folded over, good grief. Just remember that when you use this type of glue, this is what it does. Okay, now I'm just folding this part over for right now and getting it glued down. And then we'll go back and 
I don't feel any glue seeping out, but just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna stick this as far down and in there as I can. Because that glue was just pouring out of there. And I wanna be able to use our pocket later. It's the best we get right there. Okay. Now, I'm going to fill this over and start putting glue stick um, on our paper. But let me plug this up because if you don't keep these little suckers plugged up, <laughs> they become like concrete. Okay. Move that over and we're going to just put the glue on the book itself. I also dread with my surgery this week. <laughs> I know you guys are sick of hearing about it, probably. It's not a fun surgery. Um, I also heard that you can, um, you have to use that, you know, have to use that walker, of course. But I've also realized that because my wrist has been hurting, oh my goodness, my wrist has been hurting. So, I hope I don't have to deal with that. You know, it's got, I'm sure I will, but I'm not looking forward to it. I'll put it that way. Okay, let's see what happens here. After I get the big water glued I just touched off my finger. Okay, so we're going to get our, our, let's hold this part up. Let's get this part down first. Okay, and then we're going to take our ruler and take it down into that crack as best we can and let it dry on this side here. When you're all done with all your gluing and using your ruler and so forth, you want to make sure you uh, also wipe off your ruler because it does get grungy too. I'm trying to plug that little hole in. Okay, here we go. So I'm afraid it's going to be hard at first, you know, because my wrist is so sore. I may have to get a my one of my wrist splints out, kind of support it. I just had it injected a couple weeks ago, and it didn't last at all. It didn't do anything. So I'm hoping that that's just because I didn't come home and do what I should have done. Not use it. <laughs> but you know what? I have things to do. I don't want to just sit. I, it drives me nuts. I've never been like a lazy person that just can sit around and watch TV all day. It's not my thing. I don't watch that much TV at all, actually. And, um, anyway, all right, all right, so I had a lady say, put, put this to the left and then take it over and put it to the right. And I think you're right. Look at this. I forgot to try it. I'm sorry. I'm going to listen to her and try it on the next one. But yeah, she was saying that if you glue it, glue it here first and then take it this way and then put it in the fold, it will work better. And I'm always just thinking um, if I, I want to get it down where that looks good before I do anything else. But then... You know, it can affect the way your other side looks. So, so, so. What, how do I want to fix that? Let me close my glue. I have a little strip right over here. See? Right there. The problem is, is having the right paper. Because you really don't... I do have a little bit left of this. 
So we'll see what I can do with it. I'll try to match it. I think that's possible. We can match it right there. Almost. I'll just take a little bit, little bitty tip off right there. And that's pretty close. It's not gonna be perfect. Okay, I have a bunch more of this. So I'm going to see if I can find it. It'll have to be off camera and then I'll fix that. But you were right, Faye. <laughs> this is uh, not the best way to do it. So what I would say to you, instead of gluing the tucked in first, glue the left side in so that you get it all the way over to the edge. I should have known this by the end of the book, right? Um, and then, then take what's left and get it done on this side. And if I have to add any underneath, that's fine too. So I will do that on the next pocket and see where it gets me. I gotta glue this down right here. It keeps slipping up. Okay. There we go. Okay. All right, moving along. I think that's the last one. Let me see what time it is. If it is, we'll... Yeah, that is the last time. It's 56 minutes and 30 seconds. <laughs> so, I hope you guys enjoyed this crazy video. It's not my best, I'm sure. It's a lot of repetitive stuff, really, honestly. But if you want to see where it comes from, from start to finish, this is how you have to do it. And when we finish uh, the next few pages... And I may just finish them. I think that's what I'm going to do. I just, it's just a lot of the same thing. I have four, three, three or four pages left. I'm just going to finish them. And then the next time we get together for this book, we'll start decorating. And that'll be after my surgery. So, yeah. So, I appreciate you guys sticking with me on this. I know that it feels repetitive, but which it is. But it is a lot of fun. And if you want to make one of these, you need to jump in there and do it while it's fresh in your mind. And I hope some of you have been doing it with me. All right, guys. Well, if you haven't subscribed, I'd love to have you. And if you have, I appreciate you so much. And welcome to anybody that's new to our channel. All right, guys. I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.